All right, so if you watch the video lesson and you watch the step in video with me, then you're now ready to start your journal work. So now you do need a pencil and you're going to be opened up to pages 332 and 333. I will walk you through the um, questions and maybe we'll do a couple together. Okay, so even though I'm going to show you how to do it the way the book is wanting us to do it, that does not mean that you have to do it this way. If you would rather use blocks, you are more than welcome to use blocks. If you would rather do it in your head, that's okay too, okay? As long as you're getting the right answer, don't worry about messing with the number line if you don't want to. But I think it's a good tool to use to help me. So let's get started with the step up. The directions say, write the number of hundreds, tens, and ones. Then write an equation to show the total. You can use blocks to help. So if you have blocks at home, that's great. Even if you don't have blocks at home and you just have a piece of paper where you can draw the blocks, that works just as well. But I'm going to try it without blocks first and just by looking at the numbers. So there are blank hundreds. Hmm. There are blank hundreds. Let's see. We have 345 plus 7. Are we adding a number with a number in the hundreds place? We are not. We're only adding seven ones. So does that change? It does not. There are still three hundreds. All right, let's look at our tens. There are blank tens. Hmm. How many tens are there? So far we have four. Now let's take a look at our ones. There are blank ones. Here's where we're going to have to do some adding. We have five ones over here plus seven ones over here. How many total ones do we have? Can you tell you how I did it? I took five ones from my seven and made that a ten. So I know we have ten. And then I knew there were two more left. That's how I added in the snap. Maybe the 5 plus 7 is something that you can remember quickly in your head is 12, but that's the way I did it. Okay, so now we know we have three hundreds, four tens, and 12 ones, but we're not done yet. Last step is to write the equation. So three hundreds is actually the number 300, right? And then we're adding four tens, which is the number 40. And then we're adding 12 ones. And now it's your job to find what 300 plus 40 plus 12 is. And that will give you your answer. Okay? And then you're going to do the same thing over here for B. All right, on to number two. It says draw jumps to show how you add to find each total. Then write the total. So up here, we have our number lines labeled, so we have to pay attention to where we're putting our starting number and our jumps. So we have 139 plus 5. So the first thing we have to do is take a look at our number line. Where would we place 139? Well, I'm noticing that it starts with 130. The midpoint of the number line is 140. Okay. So that must mean this midpoint in between 130 and 140 is 135. I don't need to label that, but the only reason I am is to help my, me know where I am on the number line. So if we're going to do if we need to find 139, I know it's going to be pretty close to 140, right? Because it's only one away. So I'm going to plop 139 right there. Now we're adding 5. You can just take your 5 jumps if you want, or you can do it my way like I was doing earlier in the step in and in the video lesson where I'm going to make a friendly number. So first, I'm going to do a jump of 1. And I did a jump of 1, 
to take me from 139 to this friendly 140. All right, so that turned that five into a four because I used one from the five and now I have four left. And now I can take my last jump of four. Where would that get us if we're at 140 and then add four? 144. So if you choose to use it this way, I would suggest to do it my way by finding a friendly number. But the most important thing is to show your jumps and label your thinking so that I know. So if you made a mistake, I can go back and see where. Same, you're going to do the same exact thing for B, but for C and D, you'll notice that that you have a blank number line, which I know might seem scary, but I promise I would rather have a blank number line so you can pop your numbers wherever you want and you can make your jumps as big or as small as you'd like, okay? All right, and the last part, the step ahead. It says write an equation to match the story, then write the total. So this is just like solving a word problem. Okay, we have to read the problem, figure out what the problem is asking us, and then figure out what we know. So I'm going to read the problem to you first. On Monday, Donna walked 538 steps from her front door to the bus stop. Okay. On Tuesday, she counted her steps again. She found that she had walked six more steps than on Monday. How many steps did she take on Tuesday? All right, so we know we're looking for how many steps she took on Tuesday, and we know what she walked on Monday. We know she walked 538 steps on Monday. So if she took six more on Tuesday, would we have to add six or subtract six? I'm not going to tell you which one. I'm going to see if you can figure out that. And then I need you to solve it for me. So we know that she started with 538. We know she either took six more or six less. And then what is the total she took on Tuesday? All right. Good luck. <laughs>